The Helena Capital Boys basketball roster is a bit inexperienced this year, losing many of their key contributors from the last two seasons. This year, head coach Guy Almquist is calling on Braden Cook and Malachi Sievert to help lead his squad. And though it's early, Almquist thinks the two are stepping into the role nicely. I think they've done a good job on the court. Uh, both of them are somewhat quiet individuals. They've become a little bit more verbal. Uh, this year doesn't need to be yelling and screaming, but you just need to be verbal. People need to hear your voice. And, uh, you know, I think the biggest thing is our young guys respect both of them. And uh, there's mutual respect. And, and uh, these guys are, are doing a great job with that so far. Cook and Sievrud are the only two returning varsity players for the Bruins this year. And with the COVID-19 pandemic shuttering opportunities to integrate some chemistry this year, Sievrud said getting the guys up to varsity speed has been difficult. Showing them what it takes to play in a varsity game. Coming from JV and sophomore and even the freshman team last year, the, the pace is a lot quicker, so we need to show them, kind of tell them what it was going to be like, help them. For Cook, who's only a junior headed into this season, the leadership mentality doesn't come naturally, but it's a work in progress. Once we lost all those guys, I kind of have to build up that leadership role, and I've been building that since like summer, still working on it, but we're getting there. And though the Bruins may not have a clear-cut path to success this season, Almquist believes they'll carve one out as they navigate through it. Um, we've got good players. They're, they're taking that time, and I, I think that from the beginning of the season till the end, you'll see this team grow a lot because of it. Cook and Sievrud will continue to build that leadership throughout the season, and their next test will come in the form of Missoula Sentinel on Saturday. In Helena, Sam Hoyle, MTN Sports.